The first way that ChatGPT can be used to help you while you're event planning is it can help you create lists. You can create to-do lists, you can create to-get lists, which would mean like you need to buy them, and then you can create to-pack lists. Now, to-pack lists would be I already have it and I need to uh, pack it with me. So to-get lists and to-do lists would be the ones that you would use for ChatGPT. So let's take a look. I'm going to type in a ChatGPT Create a list of items I need to purchase for a field day for 100 people. And I'm gonna add in for a company field day for 100 people, hit enter, and it's going to create a list of items and it's going to uh, even then expand upon it. So beverages, purchase a variety of beverages such as water, soft drinks, juice, and sports drinks, food, plan to provide food options for your employees, utensils and paper products. So it's giving me even the reason why. Now, if you just want the list and you don't want the explanation of why you need one, well then you can tell that to ChatGPT. I'm gonna go here and hit copy. I'm gonna come down to paste and I'm going to add limit to just the list and not a reason why I need to buy it and hit enter and see what happens. And it's literally just going to list it out there for me. So beverages, food, utensils and paper products, tables and chairs, jet tents and shade structures, games and activities, first aid kit, sunscreen and insect repellents, trash cans and bags, music. Now here's the interesting thing is that uh, you can now copy and paste this because this is not a complete list. There's some things that you're going to need uh, to uh, in order to uh, get in order to have a successful field day. Um, you're, you want to maybe you want to list out what games and activities that you would have. So I could do this where I copy and paste games and activities. Well, first, I'm going to copy and paste my original prompt or my second prompt because I don't want the uh, explanation there. And then I'm going to uh, copy and paste games and activities and I'm going to do right here a list of games and activities I need to purchase and I'm going to hit enter and then it's going to type it out for me. Cornhole, ladder toss, volleyball set, frisbees, tug of war rope, giant Jenga, bocce ball set, giant connect four, three-legged race, sack, uh, sack race bags. Now again, this is not a comprehensive list, but this is a really uh, great way to use chat GPT um, in order to create your lists. So this was the to purchase list. You can do something similar for the to-do list. So if I uh, take that prompt, I'm going to copy and paste it, create a list, create a to-do list to plan a company field day for 100 people. Limit to just the list and not a reason why I need to do it. And then I'm going to hit enter and here's a to-do list. Choose a date for the event, determine the budget for the event, select the location for the event, decide on the food and beverage options, rent, table, chairs, purchase. Uh, so that's telling you, hey, you need to go out and rent these things. And so uh, this is really a great way to create a starting point for your event. And then if I were you, what I would do is I would then copy and paste this into whatever software you're using, um, which I'm working on a review video for softwares that you can use free ones and paid ones to help you plan your event. So uh, here we've got the to-do lists that, and these lists are number one. Number two is you can use chat GPT to help you create your plans for your event. So I'm gonna come back to chat GPT. I'm going to open up a new chat. I'm going to say create an agenda for a company field day for three hours for 100 people. Hit enter. And here it comes. So this is creating an agenda. It's even uh, ordering things numerically for me. It's adding in the uh, minutes there for me. It is adding in the headers and what's happening during that time. So introduction, a welcome speech from the company representative 
an introduction of the event organizers and staff, uh, team building activities, refreshment and snacks, games and activities. It's even suggesting team building activities for me and it's listing out how long it would take and it's telling me to divide into teams of 10. So the interesting thing is if you come back to chat GPT, you start a new chat, you can enter in a different prompt or even the exact same prompt. And sometimes it will give you a different version where maybe it doesn't list out the number of minutes. Maybe it doesn't list out the actual items that's happening underneath there. So that is the second thing that you can do with chat GPT to help you while your event planning is you can use it to create plans for your events. So the plan would be another word would be the agenda or the run of show. The third thing it can do is ChatGPT can create scripts for you to make your event planning life easier. So scripts uh, sometimes can be pretty time consuming to write. And so let's say, for example, you want a general introduction uh, of the actual event. So I'm going to come back to my field day chat GPT uh, prompts and I'm going to type in a new prompt. So I'm going to uh, say write a script or and I'm going to come back to the very uh, beginning for the welcome speech of this field day. So I copied and pasted it, write a script for the welcome speech for them from the company representative of this field day. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to create a script for me. Now I can again, copy and paste this script and then I can tweak it. I can add to it. I can subtract from it. I can add in names. I can add in items. Now here's the other thing about chat GPT is you can come here and I can grab this and the company name. So I'm going to say rewrite the script for the welcome speech. The company name is event builder because that's the name of the company uh, of the YouTube channel that you're watching. So I'm going to hit enter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the event builders annual field day. I love it. It adds in the name for me there and then it goes in and you can add it. You can add little uh, items underneath your prompts to say, uh, make sure to talk about X, make sure to talk about Y, make sure to talk about Z. Um, I could come in here and write a script that says, hey, uh, write a script. Um, I'm gonna come in here and do this real quick. So I'm going to say, uh, write a script. I'm gonna go back to the original, write a script. Or one of the activities. I'm going to go up to the activity uh, for tug of war. Write a script for how to play tug of war during this field day. Enter. And it's going to give me a script. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the one of the classic team building items, tug of war. This game is simple, but it requires teamwork, coordination, and strength. Here's how it works. What's fun is like, that's a pretty decent script. Now, again, you're gonna have to copy and paste it. You're gonna have to tweak it, but the introduction is pretty awesome, especially if I'm an MC on the microphone, which I am, and I could see myself actually saying something pretty similar and pretty close to what that is. The fourth thing that ChatGPT can do to help you in your event planning endeavors is it can do research for you. Now it's not gonna do in-depth research, but it can do some basic research. So I live in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm gonna ask it to find uh, locations for me and let's see what happens. So find five to 10 locations in Jacksonville, Florida for me to host this company field day. And then it's going to list out five to 10 locations, uh, Riverside park. It's giving an explanation of why now, again, I'm going to have to copy and paste all of these into a document. I'm going to research them. I'm going to look up reviews. I'm going to look up pictures. I'm going to see if I can reserve things. So of course there's more work to be done, um, but it's giving me a list here and, uh, I'm able to then go and make the decision that works best for my company's field day. 
Uh, some of, I, I've lived in Jacksonville for a year and a half. Um, I, my wife and I, we moved back here after a while. And so I haven't hosted a field day here. I've hosted events in the Atlanta area. I've hosted events um, literally in, I think it's more than 83 cities across the country. Some have been field days, some have been not. And I haven't heard of some of these parks here that it's listing out for me for. So this is pretty cool. The fifth thing that this AI piece can do for you is it can write templates for you. It can write email templates. It can write social media templates. Um, yeah, I, we just saw that it writes agenda templates. So I'm going to say write a social media caption template to use on Instagram to promote this company field day. And it's going to give me a social media template. Join us for a day of fun in the sun at location. <laughs> it knows that I haven't picked a location yet. Our annual company field day is just around the corner. Get ready for an action-packed day fee, uh, filled with team building activities, friendly competition, and plenty of laughter. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to bond with your colleagues and make lasting memories. We'll see you on this date. And uh, then it gives me a bunch of hashtags. Now, if I was actually um, writing this, I might add a couple of things. And I would say um, start time is 9 a.m ends at noon because we don't we're not going to feed everybody lunch here it's just a field day we're going to have some fun we're just going to pick the first one uh, we're going to say uh, location is this and we're going to say company name is event builder and i'm going to say rewrite and then i'm going to hit enter and then it's gonna say, sure, here's a written so, uh, social media caption for all of this. Mark your mark your calendars, folks. We're excited to announce that our annual company field day is back and better than ever. Join us on date. I did not pick a date. 9 a.m. at Riverside Park uh, for an unforgettable morning. So it's including it in the social media caption. So the cool thing about using ChatGPT is you probably picked up on it. You can start with a pretty general prompt and then you can make it more specific or you can start with a specific one, make it more general, ask it to tweak it, ask it to change it, and it will do it for you. Now, if you don't wanna start from scratch with your own prompts, if you don't wanna to have to be typing down while you're watching this video, then I've got these in a downloadable PDF for you. All you have to do is go to the link in the description of this video, or you can go to eventbuilderpro.com hashtag tools, and there is a button there where you can download that PDF. The sixth thing that ChatGPT can do for you is it can create a summary for you. If you record your event, you can use a transcription tool to listen to the audio, turn that audio into text, and then you can copy and paste that text into ChatGPT, and then it will summarize things for you. It can also summarize biographies. Sometimes keynote speakers have like a two-page bio, and you can't read two pages when you're introducing someone, so you can copy and paste that, put it into ChatGPT, and it will summarize it for you into a succinct way. You can give it specifics, just like I've shown you, where you say, uh, summarize this into two to three sentences, or you can uh, ask it to summarize it into one paragraph. So those are the six ways in which ChatGPT can be used for events. Uh, number one is lists, number two is plans, number three is scripts, number four is research, number five is templates, and number six is summaries. If this was helpful for you, be sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in a future video.